We are in the pool of Siloam, the wet tunnel of Hezekiah. The water would run over there and run into this pool. Again, you can see how big this pool was. All this to the other side. You can see the lengths of the pool. The biggest reservoir of Jerusalem of 2,000 years ago. Even before, again, uh, almost 2,700 years ago. So you can see, we are on the northern side of the pool. You can see the steps. On the way out, you look at these little things, and we'll give you a perfect idea how it looked like that. Now, the pool of Zidon was uh, very cool. Uh, at the time, the tabernacle, we had the water games, people would come here. We called it in Hebrew, Simchat Bet HaShoeva, the joy of pumping water and bringing it to the temple. And with this water, they purify places there and they, they celebrated the water together with the tabernacle. Now, uh, for Christianity, this is very important. Remember Jesus and his disciples walking in the city and they see a blind man and the disciples are asking was he was born that way or because maybe his parents seen and that's why he was born he was born blind etc so to cut the long story short Jesus decided to help the man he spat on the floor and created mud and smeared it on the eyes of this man and told him, go down to the pool of Siloam and wash your eyes. Once he did that, he regained his sight. And all the debate of the Pharisees, etc., pro and con about it, but this is where uh, the miracle was performed, the, the pool of Siloam. <coughs> you want to add something, Pastor? And also, during the um, Feast of Tabernacles, the the priests would come down to be able to get a, um, a pitcher full of water for the libation offering. And, um, and he took the, the, the pitcher of the water and he would make his way back up into the temple to be able to pour it on the four horns of the altar. Other priests would cut uh, branches 25 feet in length and would stand uh, um, 30 feet um, apart, shoulder to shoulder. And as the priests walked, they would sweep them on the ground in unison. You see, as he poured that water out upon the altars, he, they, were, they, were, they were praying for the Holy Spirit to begin to come so that the Holy Spirit would give them a very prosperous year. They said that the sound of those branches sweeping across the ground sounded like a mighty rushing wind. And so when the priest gets up into the, 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 the temple area and pours the water out upon the four horns of the altar, all of a sudden Jesus cries out and he says, Those of you who are thirsty, come after me. For out of your bellies will flow rivers of living water. It's a very unique place. Amen. Okay. We'll do what Julius Caesar did. He came, saw, and went back to the bus. <laughs>